Ava, did you steal Terry's bag the other day? You mean the branded bag? It was a very nice one, and I'm very grateful to her for it. Why would you steal something that belongs to someone else? Because I don't think it would look good on her. The bag was a birthday gift from Terry's husband. He saved up the money and bought it for Terry. So give it back to her. I won't give it back. <laughs> a cheap bag for a student is more fitting for her, right? Her husband makes a small salary, and Terry is poor enough to work part-time. Right? I thought a Vuitton bag wouldn't suit a poor person, so I'm using it for her. I'm sure she'll be happier with a bag that suits her well. <laughs> what nonsense! You'll regret it. What? Are you lecturing me? Do you know who I am? You're Eva, right? No, not that. Is it because you're the wife of a gangster? Don't lecture me if you know who I am. Gangsters are the best. You think so? I don't think so. No, no. What do you know about gangsters? You've never been in a fight, have you? I don't think so. I'm not so sure about my strength. You look weak. If I pushed you as hard as I could, you'd break every bone in your body. I'm not that weak. But you shouldn't call yourself a gangster and threaten your friends or rob people. If the real gangsters find out, you'll get hurt. Huh. What are you saying? My husband and I are the real gangsters. Then, what kind of operation are you in? We're in the gambling group. Wow. Oh, I get it. Maybe even a regular person like you knows about this. I guess so. My husband holds a certain position in the group. I sometimes show up at their meetings, too, by the way. All the scary people bow down to me. It's a great feeling. It's amazing that you can come up with so many stories from your imagination. I'm not being paranoid. I'm telling the truth. I'll beat you up if you get too cocky. Don't be so rude. Besides, if the police get a hold of the gangsters, they'll get in trouble, right? That's true. I don't want to get in trouble with the police just because of you. Well, don't get cocky if you don't want anything to happen to you. A few weeks later... Hey, what are you doing? What? Are you mad? You bought that expensive car. Expensive car? What are you talking about? I saw a fancy car parked in front of your house the other day. My husband told me it's a luxury car worth nearly three million bucks. Give it to us. We'll take good care of it. No, no. We can't give away what we don't have. What? Are you kidding? No. I really don't know what you're talking about, and we can't afford a car worth three million bucks. You must have borrowed money to buy it, right? Your husband looks like he doesn't have a job, and he doesn't get paid much, does he? Will you stop saying bad things about my husband? He is just an ordinary office worker. 
but he's working hard for us. I can't forgive you for talking bad about me, but I can't forgive you for talking bad about my family. You can't talk to me like that. Do you want to be like Mandy? I think I pushed Mandy down the stairs at the park. <laughs> Luckily, she wasn't seriously hurt. But what would you have done if she had been permanently injured? It was her fault. She deserved it, right? It's wrong to ask me to pay for my lunch. People are supposed to pay for their own lunch, right? I don't know what to say anymore, so excuse me. Hey, don't end the conversation. A few days later. Hey, Eva, you did this, right? You mean the car? Yeah, that's right. An office worker's family had the gall to buy a luxury car, so we painted it. Do you know how scary a couple of gangsters can be? I'll make a fool out of you if you ask for reimbursement. That's my dad's car. He is the mafia boss. What? The boss? Who's the boss, you said? Well, I told you, it's my dad. Did you read my message? It's a lie, isn't it? I've never heard of you being the boss's daughter. I didn't tell anyone because I thought it would scare you guys. And I didn't think it's something I should tell you. Which group is he from? Maybe it's some tiny, weak organization I've never heard of. You'd know them well. The gambling group. What? The gambling group? I asked my dad. But you guys don't seem to be a part of his group. He says he doesn't know you guys. Maybe there's too many members and the boss doesn't know. Even so, if you knew my dad was the boss, you wouldn't paint his car, right? And you said your husband's one of the top people in the organization. So I'm sure he knows about the boss's car. I'm sorry. I lied about us being gangsters. That's what I thought. You were just trying to scare the other moms into thinking you're gangsters for fun, weren't you? Because it felt so good to be a gangster, and everyone offered me money and gave me what I wanted. My dad is pissed at you for using the name of their group. What? I feel bad for your husband who had just found a job. I think it's Ace Motors in the next town over, right? He started working there as a mechanic, huh? How do you know so much? I didn't tell you about his job, did I? Don't underestimate the gangster network. My dad found out about you guys pretty quick. I'm sorry. We'll make it up to you. Can you at least spare our lives? He said he doesn't want the cops on you guys. And he'll let you go as long as you pay. That's great. But he wants to talk to you too first. What? Don't tell me the whole group's going to show up. If you are going to say that, we'd be in big trouble. He says he's taking about five guys to your place. I don't like it. We've done so many things in the name of the group. Don't worry. 
I won't hurt anyone. Well, he's a powerful man, so you'd better be prepared. I can't. I can't. Please, Judy, can you come with them? I had nothing to do with this, right? Dad says I don't have to go, so I won't. Please, I'll pay you to come over. Pay me to come over? <laughs> then, my dad will be there by the end of the day. Oh, no. The next day... Judy, help! What? What's wrong? The boss told me to get you the two million within a week. If not, he said we should work for him. The car cost more than three million bucks, so you're lucky to get one million. Dad must have been very generous to ask for less than double the money he would have normally asked. No, no, no. Two million is still a painful expense. It's not like my husband earns enough to prepare two million immediately. Well, there is no way we can come up with two million even for a normal house. It's impossible for us too. Right? They agree to let us live, but they said they'll keep an eye on us from now on. There's no point in running anywhere. The group has a lot of members. And he's got connections to other countries. So I don't think it'll matter where you run to. He said he caught a guy who ran overseas. I don't know what to do. If you want to be free from them, they'll have to pay the two million. They said they're fine with it as long as they get their money back. But I think they were planning to punish you more severely. What? What do you mean? Punish us more severely? Eva, didn't you guys use the name of the group to threaten people and cheat them out of their money? Papa says he can't tolerate anyone who uses our name and harms civilians. There was a member of the group in the past who injured a civilian. But now, he is missing. Maybe he's already... I'm scared. Does it mean that we would have been sent to the other world too? I guess so. I asked him to spare you a little this time. So I guess I only got away with the money. My dad listens to me. You saved our lives? Not quite. But if I hadn't said anything, you might have been in more trouble. I mean, you saved my life. So I guess you're willing to tolerate this, right? I didn't get hurt in any way. I just didn't want the other moms to get the wrong idea. So I told my dad I wouldn't do anything too flashy. You never know what he's gonna do when it comes to me. I know. Thanks for saving us. Now, I need you to do a favor for me. A favor? I'm afraid it's not going to be easy to pay back the two million within a week. My husband doesn't get paid much because he just got the job. And I'm a housewife and I don't work. So it's impossible for me to raise the money. What about relying on your parents? My parents are poorer than we are at home. And I don't think my in-laws can afford two million either. I see. Please, I'll pay you. But can you lower it to 200,000 for the damage? 200,000 is too much. Then how about 300,000? I can borrow that much from a consumer loan company or something. My dad's sitting next to me right now, and he's pissed off at you. What? You're sitting next to him? Yes. 
He's staying with me for a while. He wants to spend some time with his grandchildren. How long is he staying? I think he'll be here for at least a week. He's going to collect the money from you guys and go home. Oh no! What are you going to do now? I think you should talk to your husband. You two have a child. You should put your child first. Is he still angry with us? Of course he's angry. Besides, Tad liked that car a lot. I see. I think he's more pissed that you tried to embarrass me than that you ruined his car. Can't you help us? I don't owe you anything, do I? I felt really bad when you ruined my dad's favorite car. If you don't help us, we're screwed. Do you mean we're all going to hell? I guess. All this time you've been arrogant to others has come back to bite you in the butt, huh? Good luck with the payment. Wait a minute. A few days later. Where are you guys? Just out with the family. You really haven't been home since yesterday. Are you trying to escape? Because I can't afford two million. You're not going to get away with it. My dad is incredibly well connected. And I think he's going to get you guys even if you get out of the country. But if he wants the money in a week, he can't get it. If you can't, Dad says he'll get you a job. That job is dangerous and life-threatening, isn't it? We still want to live. It's okay. I don't think he'll take your lives until he gets his money back. Until he collects the money? Don't talk as if you're going to drown us in the ocean. Maybe it will be worse if you run. Besides... I think my dad and the others know where you guys are. What? How do they know? Well, they're incredibly well connected. You shouldn't fool around with a real gangster. What should I do? All I can say is that you shouldn't piss off my dad any more than you already have. Can't you help me? Why should I help you? And I've also asked him to make you pay for all the money and stuff you took from my mom, friends. Wait a minute. How much is that? I don't exactly know how much, but I'm guessing it's at least close to 20000 Some of my mom friends say they also want as much as 5000 for compensation. That's impossible. I've already been charged two million. Well, it's your fault for threatening people and taking things from them, isn't it? Please, I'll do anything, just reduce the amount. You shouldn't tell a gangster you'll do anything. My dad will start thinking of something that's not really good. What? Is the boss around again? I told you last time, he'll be at my house for a week. I see. You guys are in Youngstown, Ohio, right? How did you know? You two might not realize it, but there's a group of gangsters nearby. Really? If you're still trying to escape, they might grab you and drown you in the bay or something. What are you going to do? No, 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 no! Please, just save my life. So, you'll be back soon? Okay. One week later. So, Eva, you managed to pay back the money, huh? He said they'd cut off our fingers if I didn't. But, are you okay? You borrowed that money from a shady place too, didn't you? I think it's the Lone Shark Group, right? How do you know them? My dad used to be involved with their group. 
After the current boss took over, there were a lot of problems, so he stopped associating with them. What kind of problems? Were they doing something bad? The current head of the group is rumored to be a very violent man. He doesn't show mercy to anyone. Since the new leader took over, many members of the group have gone missing. You'd better be careful. Hey, don't say scary things. You should have told us that first. I didn't think you'd be borrowing money from message group. Are we in serious trouble? As long as we pay back the money on time, there's no problem, right? But you may be asked to pay a huge amount of interest, and if you're not careful, you might have to pay back more than double the amount of money. You mean... 4 million? That's right. You're moving soon, right? I am afraid the leader of the group will get close to you again. What about your kids? My kids haven't been going to school lately, but my in-laws are taking care of them. If they find out that we owe money from the gangsters, they'll cut ties with us to protect the kids. So your children will move to a new school? Yes. We just got the paperwork from the school the other day. I'm glad to hear that. I just didn't want an innocent child to become a victim. You mean you don't care about us? I mean, I don't really care what happens. Now that my friend got her stolen money back and my dad's claim is settled, I don't need you anymore. Wait a minute. I'm in a tight spot here. You brought this on yourself. You and your husband should work together. Goodbye. Afterwards, even her husband left this town as if they were fleeting. But after they moved, they were still being harassed by the collectors and disappeared a while later. Maybe they're doing some shady business somewhere far away. We, on the other hand, have been able to live in peace now that the tyrannical Eva is gone. Although the fact that my father is a gangster has been spread by this incident, everyone is treating me normally, so I am relieved. I don't want to threaten people like Eva did when she said she's a gangster.